All right, so I'm here today with uh, Lachlan Barker. We're just doing a quick Q&A. Um, part of our Blues From Home program is we want to be reaching out to our players, our coaches, some people that are um, sort of uh, outside the club, different professionals, just to give different perspectives of, of what everyone's going through during during lockdown, what everyone's been up to, how, it, how people are sort of um, dealing with it and, and, and what they're up to in their own um, lives at the moment. So, yeah, really lucky to have uh, NBL1 uh, superstar Lockie Barker from the Frankston Blues with us today. Um, Lockie, thanks for, for giving up your time to jump on and have a chat with me. Oh, no worries at all. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. Excellent. So, um, for those that don't know, um, Lockie stayed. Uh, so Lockie's from from Tasmania, um, from Penguin. Is that right, Lockie? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Penguin. Penguin. Yeah. Little shout um, out. Yeah, shout out to Penguin. Two Blues. They're the two Blues, and now you play for the one Blues. So yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. You upgraded to the. We just need one blue. Um, <laughs> so Lockie uh, stayed over the summer here in Victoria. Um, and was still here through the first lockdown. What, um, when you stayed after the, obviously the NBL one season finished last year and into sort of the first lockdown now, what was your sort of strategy? What was the, what was the reasoning behind staying um, in Victoria and, and then obviously staying through the, the first lockdown, Lockie? Uh, the main reason was uh, more opportunity. So like there was a, uh, availability to work out with Phoenix, which I did uh, for quite a bit of the off season. Um, and also, you know, United's down the road as well. So, um, yeah, just really the NBL teams are there. Uh, thankfully, Tassie's got a team now, so that's mm. that's a good thing for them. Um, but, yeah, really just more opportunity and to stick with the club. You know, Frankson welcomed me and uh, loved, loved the club and being around there. So that was that was a big thing too. I liked, liked being part of the club and also learning from, you know, like yourself and Harmsy and all them guys just... Um, just bettering myself and I thought that was the place to be. Yeah. Yeah, no, terrific. So that personally, um, the, the, the goal for you at the moment um, is uh, to, to, to get back into the NBL. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely, definitely a goal. Yeah. Terrific. Um, and what, um, so like, obviously you, you stayed in Victoria, which is, which is terrific. And um during the first lockdown, obviously being a professional basketballer and, and working um, to, to get back into that NBL system, what was it like? Again, I, I know I'm sort of leading you to a pretty negative question, but what was it like, obviously, not being able to go into the stadium and work out, not being able to go to, you know, our gym sponsor, Core24, you know, 24-7 sort of gym um, access? And I know you made good use of that. And what, what was it like sort of having that, I guess, rug pulled out from under you sorry to be so negative what, what did you do I guess what was your solution to that what, what were you doing during the first lockdown and, and looking to continue now um, yeah well to start off with the, the first week I guess was pretty tough like realizing you can't do what you sort of love you know you can't go to shoot get shots up you can't work out you don't see as many friends because quite often you go see your friends when you go shooting and that sort of thing not able to work out you know I most people know that I like to uh, stay active and keep fit. So that was a, a bit of a struggle. But then just sort of had to, you know, keep positive and flip your mindset to, all right, what can I do to make myself better in this time? You know, um, so luckily enough, we got a bit of gym equipment where we was uh, living and went out into the shed a fair bit, tried to get a lift in, you know, every day, trying to stay active and just, um, yeah, stay stay fit and ready to, to what's to come. Yep. Yeah, no, that's um, that's terrific, mate. And yeah, as yeah, I saw firsthand um, that you were working really hard through that first lockdown, and um, certainly, um, you know, I, I consider myself someone who works pretty hard, and you put me to shame. Um, I think you were getting sort of two lifts in a day, yeah. trying to find, you know, yeah. we got a hoop at the house, getting shots up, trying to get to local parks and shoot however you could. There was no. Um, yeah, you certainly turned uh, turned a bad situation into an opportunity. So um, I, I think you, you came out of that first lockdown still going pretty well. And um, what, uh, I guess from here, what is, so for those people that can't tell, obviously you, uh, you're you in a hotel room right now. And that's the reason why I asked yeah, if you wanted yeah. to get on and have a quick chat and um, sort of uh, put something up to to send out to our, our Blues members and our families that, that know you well. And 
Um, so you're in a hotel room, you're actually in quarantine um, back in Tasmania. Do you want to sort of explain a little bit about that and what that's been like? I think you're in day 10, is that right? Or yeah, day, day 10, counting down. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, so the uh, main reason, I guess, Victoria is not in a, the greatest uh, state right now, I guess, in terms of uh, COVID-19. And um, yeah, I've actually got a, a trial coming up with a, uh, a team um, in the next few weeks. So in order to do that, I couldn't really go from Victoria to another state because pretty much every other state's locked out uh, Victoria. So got a little uh, loophole, seems in that I'm uh, a Tasmanian resident. So I could uh, duck down to Tassie and quarantine for two weeks and then I can uh, pretty much go to any other state. So that's, uh, yeah, sort of the main reason why I've come back down here. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And a great opportunity, obviously, for, for you. And um, yeah, I know that you've been working really hard at that. And, and that's something that we made really clear, obviously, in terms of your pathway is something that is, is not only realistic, but, but um, is, is almost something that you should be sort of expecting to, to, to be able to achieve. Um, so obviously, on behalf of the, the, the club, we wish you the best of luck with with that um, next next step that you go to, and and hopefully you 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 get that spot, and um, and then you know go from there and go from strength to strength. So, um, look, we, we, we'll we'll finish up there. Um, I really appreciate you jumping on. Did you want to did you want to grab the camera and give a quick tour of the uh, the the you know the um, high rise apartment that they've got you in there in Launceston? Yeah, I can uh, give a quick quick little tour. All right, let's uh, flip this around. All right. All right. So this is the uh, the uh, I guess the the living area, the <laughs> little little kitchen. This is where I do a little little workout in here. And if we uh, go down the hall, I do a few uh, laps of this place. And down here, we got the uh, just a little bathroom in here where all the fun stuff is. Uh, then we go into the bedroom. Is that your only window there, Lockie? Uh, yes. Is that your only window? Uh, you so both of these are these are windows. So I got yeah. As you can see, Tassie's got great weather. It's <laughs> nice and nice and sunny. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it for me for two weeks. So uh, yeah, this is this That's is it. it. So just interval sprints from yeah. wall to wall, basically. Is that what you've been doing? Like just going from one end of the house to the other? Yeah, and... pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. There's probably a, a track on the carpet where I've just been doing <laughs> laps up and down. But uh, yep. I, might, I might get a bill for that. Yeah, yeah. No, and that's, um, yeah, we appreciate you jumping on, mate. It can't be easy. Um, you know, you said you, you haven't even been out, really allowed outside. Um, I, I thought you, when you were in quarantine in, in hotels, you got to go outside for sort of half an hour a day or an hour a day, sort of things supervised and things like that. Like, um, pretty crazy. You've been inside indoors for, for 10 days. And um, for anyone who doesn't know, like Lockie works with, um, you know, does some casual work landscaping with AJS landscaping and, and is just a real outdoors person, farm, farm boy raised on a farm and just grew up outdoors all the time. So um, really tough, mate. And um, yeah, good to see you smiling and still making the most of it. And obviously um, being really positive in your approach to it and um, getting the workouts in as much as you possibly can and staying ready for that, um, that trial with that NBL team and, and the next steps, hopefully. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me and good to see your face. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, good to catch up with you and, um, yeah, keep us in the loop and, um, yeah, I'm sure everyone really enjoyed to enjoyed hearing from you. So thanks for that. No worries. Too easy. Thank see you. Mate.